If you're not already familiar with Johnny 5, it's essentially a robotics framework that allows you to build applications that interact with electronic components, such as LEDs, motors, switches, etc., using JavaScript. And yes, you heard me correctly, JavaScript. Not C or C++ or even assembly, I'm talking sheer JavaScript. Now under the hood, there are other lower level languages involved, but generally speaking, you will write your applications in good old JavaScript. And how many times can I say JavaScript? JavaScript. Now if you're familiar with the short circuit movies at all from many moons ago, you're probably wondering if the name of the framework comes from the star of those movies, Johnny Five. And the answer to that is yes. If you've not seen those movies, then please pause this course and do yourself a favor by getting caught up on them. Seriously, I'll wait. Otherwise, you'll be missing out on solid lines like, Hey, laser lips, your mama was a snowblower. Or, number five is alive. Or even his classic laugh, nyak nyak nyak, which he snagged from the Three Stooges. Classic. But I digress. Now, Johnny Five was created by a company called Bocoop and is actively maintained in a GitHub repo created by a gentleman named Rick Waldron. Initially, Johnny Five could only work with the Arduino microcontroller through the Fermata protocol, which I will cover a little more in depth in the next module, but has since evolved to work with many different platforms and components. Being a JavaScript framework that runs outside of a web browser, applications created with Johnny Five are executed using Node.js, and as I'll demonstrate a little later, you can install the framework using NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. Now throughout the remainder of this course, I will be walking you through how to install Johnny5 on a couple of platforms so that you can get a taste of how the framework can be used to control components wired up to an Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Of course, Johnny5 supports many other devices, but the demos in this course will be limited to just those two as the code becomes redundant for the other platforms. I won't be going too deep into examples in this course as it's intended to be a mere introduction to the framework, but I will show you a handful of examples on how to work with LEDs. I know, I know, not the most exciting component, but working with LEDs is basically the equivalent of the typical Hello World applications you build when learning new programming languages, so I figured these examples were a good starting point for getting acclimated with the framework. Sorry to burst your bubble here if you were thinking we'd be building some complicated robot of doom that you could enter into a robot fighting competition, maybe in another course. Now even though I will be walking you through some of the basics, if you want to dig more into the documentation for the framework or work through different examples on your own, you can find all of that at johnny5.io. On the home page here, you can see an illustration of the Johnny 5 robot from the short circuit movies I mentioned just a bit ago. That's pretty solid. Scrolling down just a bit here, you can see that they partnered with SparkFun Electronics recently to create a development kit for getting started with a framework, if you're interested in that. And going just a bit further, you can see a quick example of how to make an LED blink using the framework and an Arduino. This is essentially what I will be demonstrating a little later, though I will give you more details as to what each line means, as well as a handful of other examples. And just below that, you can see the wide variety of platforms the framework supports, so you're certainly not limited to Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. Now going all the way back to the top, if you click on the API menu, you'll be taken to an area that outlines all of the different objects that make up the framework, with many of them corresponding to various components with which you can interact, such as an accelerometer, a button, joystick, etc. And of course, if you click on each of them, you can see how to use the objects, as well as the various properties, functions, and events they offer. Definitely a lot of good stuff here. Now that of course is a very high level overview of the framework and its history, but should be enough to hopefully pique your interest. And with that, let's dive into some actual demonstrations. <laughs> 